Hi everyone, it's Dr. Crad. Here's a young patient in her 30s. At first look, you might think it's a posterior polar cataract, but the opacification is in the central part of the lens. This is actually a congenital nuclear cataract involving the embryonic and fetal nuclei. Her vision has never been great, and so she likely has amblyopia, which will limit how well she will be able to see even with cataract surgery. We've been monitoring this cataract for a few years, but she noticed significant worsening in her vision recently with her best corrected visual acuity dropping from 2050 to 2080. So we decided to proceed with surgery. Due to her young age, I'm expecting a very soft cataract. We will likely need little to no ultrasound energy. She already had cataract surgery in her other eye with a basic monofocal lens done elsewhere. She has some astigmatism in this eye, and so we could place a toric lens. However, she doesn't mind glasses, and due to health insurance coverage and the likelihood of amblyopia, the patient elected for a basic monofocal lens similar to her other eye. Congenital nuclear cataracts can be caused by a number of factors, including genetic mutations, maternal exposure to toxins, infections, and metabolic disease. The eye tends to be small with a higher risk of glaucoma. This patient's eye was approximately 20 millimeters in axial length. Fortunately, she didn't have glaucoma and does great, noticing a significant improvement in her vision with her new best corrected visual acuity of 2025. Here's her cataract surgery procedure.